that we have the best shock rods, the most powerful, awful shock rods in the world. Ah, Show me. Uh, Six feet, no. please. Hey, you look hungry. Hungry for some uh, deals? Am I right? Hey, welcome to Blordo's. I'm Blordo. You here for the food? Or the other stuff? <laughs> what, what do you mean, other stuff? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Forget I said anything. <laughs> no, come on. We're, we're good. T tell us. Oh, fine. I sell secret shit if you know what to ask for. But don't tell the cops. Now order something or leave. It just feels like my past and my heart's not there. And we used to do the gun movie thing, and it was just the three brothers. Brother in law. I don't know what. <laughs> Two brothers and a brother in law. We, we love to. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you for not doing anything illegal here at Blordo's. For sale. Hey, customer, you're ugly. Jorb, what's wrong with you? Why did your mother do this to you? You can't stop me from being me, Dad. You're grounded. Try me. I'll just listen to porn at max volume until you let me out of my room. And it's not... Thank you for your business. Dad, can I clock out early? No, why? What are you, the cops? Explanation. Yes, you do. I'm your father and your boss. I'd like it better if you were the cops. Oh, sorry, partner. That's not for sale. Goodbye, bounty hunter. That's right. I knew you were a bounty hunter.
fucking kidding me? We had to get here when there's a goddamn sandstorm going on? Bunch of fucking sand in my eyes? No, you you got a helmet on. No, I don't. I don't. Wait, what's that sign? Sandworms. Oh shit, that's right. Okay, yeah, we, we, we gotta be really careful. Fuck, that's big! Look, look at them go. They eat up broken ship parts. Does it taste good? I have no idea. I'm not I'm not about to give it a taste test. See you, asshole. Are you sure you can navigate through this? I, I, I can't even tell which direction we're going anymore. Distance. You know, that was the first settlement out here, pre-G3. We gotta pass through there to get to Douglas. I heard scavengers used to suck in freighters with a big magnet and loot their cargo. You know, I mean, uh, this place is fucked, you know, Port Turin. Here we are. Yeah, a wreck like this is pretty normal on Port Turin. You know, this asteroid's always been a lawless land, but now that the G3 set up shop, it's even worse. as fast as possible at all times and not look at anything around us at all. stuff is toxic and will dan it will hurt you so don't go in it This is 
uh, pretty lame. So let, let, let's let's get to the good stuff. All right. Shit, is that, is that some sort of miniature town? Oh, hello there. <laughs> I'm Cutie Hubie, and it's my great pleasure to introduce you to Little Cutie Town. <laughs> oh, fantastic. You've decided to take a look around Little Cutie Town. Oh, I'm so excited for you to see everything Little Cutie Town has to offer. Oh my god! Oh no, no, don't go no, there. You're destroying everything. Oh my god, you're so big! I, I, didn't, I didn't realize how big you are compared to our town. It, oh my god, it's really obvious now. I just didn't realize how much damage you do. Oh my god, I shouldn't have invited you in! Oh my god, what did I do? That's my child at home, you just stepped on some puppies! Oh my god, this is this sucks so much. You're just walking around and knocking down buildings. Oh no, 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 no. I hate seeing every one of them all done. Sick people in need and that, oh, we're destroying our historic. Okay, that's it. That's my whole, my whole town. My whole little cutie town's ruined. You ruined the whole city and all my friends are dead. I'm the only last little cutie alive and I am going to kill myself. I guarantee it. As soon as you walk away, I'm going to be so depressed. I just pop a gun in my own head and I die. I'm just going to fucking die. How's that sound? No more living for me. I don't want to be alive. My whole town and home is gone and dead and you did it. You're fault i know i invited you in but you should have realized you're so big you're gonna ruin things you should have told me i didn't think about it i'm kind of dumb sometimes but you're you're not as dumb as me i i assume so you should have said hey i'm not gonna go in there i don't want to stomp on shit like a big godzilla not for me not not what i want to do with my life i don't want to go kill everybody that's what you should have said instead you just did it you walked in and you knocked over entire buildings everyone's dead now i am i am so sad i'm so fucking sad right now i know that I, I mostly i'm just yelling but if you if you let me just calm down for a second which i'm gonna do okay i'm gonna calm down right now i'm so fucking sad i'm so fucking depressed now 
Do you have a, can, just shoot me. Shoot me with your gun. Go ahead and shoot me so I die, so I don't have to kill myself. Just do me that favor. Just take me out of my misery. I don't want to be. I don't want to be alive if everyone else I know is dead. This is survivor's guilt. You ever hear that when somebody goes to fight in a war and all the friends die and then they come back? They're like, why me? Why did I live? I, I should have died. Why me instead of them? Well, guess what, pal? That's what I'm feeling right now, and I don't have the money to spend on any more therapy. So just pop, pop me in the head. Go ahead. Just squish my head like a grape with your gun. Please, just pop, pop me. Come on, I want to die. I want to die. Come on. Come on, do it. Do it. Shoot me. I am totally ready to go. I can't, what am I going to do? Just hang out here in the broken city? I'm going to hold my friends' corpses and say, Oh, I miss you. I love you so much, and now you're dead. No, I'm not going to fucking do that. I just want to die. Come on. Come on, kill me. Come on, do it. Be honest, they really shouldn't have invited us in. All right, I can see Old Town. It's just across this bridge. Talk about these support beams, and uh, you know, I'll tell you what. So, whoa, 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 wait, tough guy. Whoa. Hey, look, walk wherever you want. This hey, is a don't, fucking don't fucking cheese brothers us. construction site. We ain't done here, but you gotta be careful. Whoa, 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 whoa. hey, calm down. What the hell? How do you want to handle this? Maybe we just, you know, move past Are you them. kidding me? You think you could just walk up into a Mac and Cheese Brothers construction site like you're some sort of fucking Jesus Christ and just fucking walk around like you own the place? There's a goddamn bottomless pit over here, asshole. You think you could survive that? Falling through a fucking bottomless pit down the- Whoa, 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 you just oh, killed my fucking brother, this. Joey whoa, 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 Mac and Cheese, cheese Brothers. Brother. Oh, hey, you shit, dude. I don't, I don't shit. know if we had to kill hey, him. I'm, I'm Jimmy Mac and Cheese and you killed what my kind brother, of tornado Joey just blew through the Mac and Cheese Brothers site on Joey? Oh my god, what's up in you? Hey, what's your big deal, you? Oh my! Hey, what's back and Chase Brothers, Oof, you son of a you bitch? You just shifted oh, into the gray zone, oh, God, or the dark, workers. whatever, the evil zone. Oh my God, you son of a bitch! Hey, one brother's not enough. You gotta kill two of us. You know what? Now who's gonna oh, whatever across you this fucking ravine? <laughs> I get it. I'm not your favorite galleon. I know, I know, I know. It's all good, though. What do you get? Nice work. Move through this place and we'll we'll get to Douglas. Hey, you with the snappers looking to get into old town? Hey, we should talk to this guy. I calls him like I sees him. He he seems helpful. Howdy there, partner. Welcome to old town. They call me old wet grundy. How can I help you? So uh well, you know, tell us. What 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 is this place? Well, I just told you it's called old town. 
Back when Shadowless first landed on this asteroid, we formed a little trading post free from galactic law, where anyone could come and do as they please. Nowadays, Strange Town steals all the thunder, but for a few years there, Old Town was nothing to sneeze at. All right, so Old Town is the Old Town, and Dreg Town is the, the, the new one? Old Town has heart used to serve a real purpose for the people. Drag Town is just a pit of debauchery and drugs. The Concern G3 Cartel. Hey, do you happen to know where we can find a, a, a guy named Douglas? Douglas? The, 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 the G3 fella? <laughs> He's a rough one. Never seen somebody drink as much as him. Why, just last night it up. Nobody. I shouldn't speak out of turn. The G3 don't like that none, and I don't like them. Just head down to Dread Town. I'm sure you'll find them. And how do we get to Dread Town? It's, it's, it's been a little bit for me. Oh, that's easy. You just go through this gate, pop into Old Town, and shoot straight down the main strip. You can't miss the big Dreg Town entrance. It's a real goddamn eyesore. Wish they'd get rid of it. I'll open the gate for you. Oh, well, thanks, Grundy. That's always Grundy. And of course, opening the gate's my whole job. It's why I'm here. I'm happy to do it for some charming young women snap like you. guns and a high-tech bounty hunting suit. Is, is uh, there a fella named Douglas down there? What, like G3 Douglas? Uh, yeah, it's his job to be down there. I heard he was partying pretty hard last night, though. Hey, I, I can't let anyone in right now. There's too many recruits causing trouble in town. I get in trouble when that happens, so I'm gonna keep the gate locked until they stop or get killed. Wink, wink. Are you telling us to kill them? Whoa, I didn't say that. I just said wink, wink, and okay, yeah, that's what I meant. So go kill him, and, and I'll let you through.
You know, somewhere around town, we, we should we should maybe de deal with it. Thank you so much for saving me. Oh my God, thank you. Uh, but you know what? I kinda, I'm kinda thinking I would have fucked him. So now I, I don't know. I'm gonna go think about that. See you later. What are you looking at?
You did it. The town's all cleaned up. I keep tab talk. I don't know how many. Very rude of you to just breeze past me like that. But I get it. I'm just a gate guard. Who cares about me? Ooh, you heading down to Dreg Town? It's way cooler than Old Town. I, Old Town's a boring dust bucket, I'll tell you that much. I hate Old Town. I point you in a rush back. The G3 really spruced up Dreg Town. You can get anything you want down there. Drugs? Sure. Sex? Yep. Those are the only two things I can think of. Oh wait, laptops. You can get laptops, I bet. Drugs, sex, and laptops? That's Dreg Town. Oh, you know I was talking, right? Are you going to join the G3? You look tough. I bet they'd love to have someone like you. part of the Mothers Against Violence Treaty, so no violence allowed here. Thank wow, so this is what a G3-run city looks like. Anyway, yeah, I'm excited to join the G3, but I'm gonna miss my wife and six kids. Oh yeah, I had mine killed before I left, so I wouldn't feel bad. Wow, that's so smart. I'll do that too. I'm gonna kill my wife and kids so I don't miss them. I hate the G3 like everyone else, sure, but hey, if the G3 wasn't here, who the hell would be buying my sounding rods? Sounding rods? Yeah, it's a little metal rod you stick up your urethra, if you got one. It's the family business. We sell little metal sticks you shove up dick holes. You think you're better than me? Well, you are. You 100% are better than me. I'm dirt. And the G3 wants to buy all my sounding rods, so fuck off. Uh, okay, uh, all right then. Yeah, jeez, that guy scares the shit out of me. Were you guys at the party last night? I can't believe Nipulon showed up. Oh, I saw. Nipulon is so cool. He was looking real good. Easily the hottest G3 officer. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nipulon's not as hot as Dr. Giblets. What? Nipulon's way hotter, trust me. And he's got charisma. Sectors where we don't all kill each other all the time. Open your eyes, asshole. We don't have anything against anyone who loves violence, but it's... Damn, can you believe they built all this on the bottom of an asteroid? I mean, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's a good place to hide out, I mean, but yeah. Hello there, my child. 
I'm from a sweet little organization called Mothers for Violence. And you're about to enter a sector under our jurisdiction. That's right. There's Mothers Against Violence, and then there's us. Mothers for Violence. We're a little different. We love violence, and we want more of it everywhere. Us and mothers may disagree from time to time, but there's one thing we all have in common. We're all mothers. Stay safe out there. Actually, don't. Go shoot people. We love violence. I'm Senator Thomas Michael Phillips, and I support mothers for violence. I support all the mothers. I don't stand for anything. I lack conviction. I let these mommies just boss me around, and I do whatever they ask. Look at that! They got they're they're, they're fucking dealing with some greebles over there, dumb fucks. Okay, shit. I, I guess let's just kill them all. Okay, listen, let's this try to get inside. This one is about how I love torturing. It's not an ad or anything. It's like a reminder that part of my job is also torturing people. Enemies of the cheats, random strangers who look at me funny, anybody. I'll torture whoever. Doesn't matter to me. I just love doing it. Okay, that's it for this one. That's a wrap. Hey there, freaks and geeks. Check it out. It's the G3 cartel. We're hiring. We're, we're recruiting. You want to be a, a henchman in the G3 cartel? Come on down to Douglas. Uh, we can't tell you where we're located because we, we can't put that on TV. That's going to be a problem for us. We're going to make you tough. We're going to make you rough. It's really cool. We're going to put a we're gonna craft a gun onto your arm and you can just shoot it whenever you want. Then you can twist it for cool. If you're someone who might get hurt easy, say no more to that. You're gonna be covered in sticky yellow goo. It's very heavy. That's cool. That kicks ass. I got shot a bunch of them. Only have a couple of fractures. Bones and 
I did need to get surgery to remove shrapnel. Come on down to Douglas's training. Sneak in, come over here. How old are you? Hey, hey there. Thanks for coming over here. I'm the goop guy around these parts. You wanna sneak in the G3 facilities? You gotta get covered in goop. That's just how it goes. My stuff's quality. So you, you, you want some goop, right? Hey, it wouldn't be the first time I got gooped. Let's do this. Perfect. Head down the alley there and just uh, let the magic happen, I guess. Uh, don't don't worry. First goop's on me. Just tell all your buddies about it. I'm the goop guy. I do goop stuff. Oh, fucking so! Oh my god, the smell! Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking throw up. Okay, okay, I'm all right. Okay. Oh my god, Th this better fucking work. Hey, look at you. You're all gooped up. I gotta be honest, it won't last long. It's not the real stuff, so you better be quick. Get in, get out. Don't stay in there too long. Don't lollygag, because this stuff's gonna fall off. That's the goop guy, promise. That's the guarantee. You're 18, right, by the way? Okay, thank you. Let's just go. Let's just go. Another gooped up G3 recruit. Be advised that the G3 cartel is not responsible for. Are you fucking kidding me? They have some whole thing prepared. Shut the fuck up, it's starting. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm sure you already know who I am, but for anyone living under a rock, I'm Douglas, G3 Chief of Training and Torture. And wouldn't you know it, I like to blur those lines a little. Training, torture, what's the difference, I say? I look to your left, difference. now look to your right. Both of those people are gonna die today. You are about to jump right into an accurate warp-based simulation of what it'll look like to be on the real battlefield. And let me tell you, you're probably gonna die. But hey, if you don't, you get to join the G3, big whoop. All right, that's it. Lock and load, fuckers. Oh my god, is All that... Right, you up. saw that, right? I got that was a Gatlian. Do. Douglas has a Gatlian. We, we, we gotta rescue her. Jesus, these fucking Merkeloids. Oh, fuck, here we go. I, here we shit, go. I hope it's not too difficult. Them, right? Oh, okay. You beat all the weak guys. Easy. Really easy. Now go do the obstacle course. Oh, okay. Oh, God. 
Okay, l let's just get this over with, please. Stop messing up! Whew, fucking, get that fucking jump! God damn, that was a little, that, that we, we made it, that was a little tough though. Shitheads. So you made it past the first training exercise. Big deal. That one was easy. We lied and said it was hard to scare you. Oh, it's fun to freak you out, to fuck with your heads. Now get ready for exercise two. It starts in one hour. That's right, you have to wait a full hour. We're testing your resolve. So just stand there patiently and wait. Then this door will open and you can continue. Uh, okay, there's no way we're waiting a full hour. Seriously, for fuck's sake, don't make us wait a whole hour. Okay, thank God. Okay, let, let's ditch this whole recruiting bullshit thing. for very long oh my god hello thank god you're here my name's dr jupy douglas kidnapped my whole family and i'm trying to sneak in and save them but i just can't get through these pipes in the next room oh my god i'm freaking out hey whoa, whoa, l l listen little guy we're trying to find douglas too you know maybe we can help each other god i'm so worried i'm gonna throw up you really helped me oh gee i'm i'm so grateful follow me you gotta connect these pipes for me so i can get through and save my family hey well guess what little guy i love puzzles i can't get enough of them we're gonna handle this oh how wondrous i'm forever in your debt i don't know how i can ever repay you god my poor family my wife Winnie, my kids swoopy and Floopy. i'm gonna get to see them soon you're really gonna do it. I bet you're gonna solve this puzzle in no time. When this is all done and I get my ball. Wow! You did it! You got the door open! Listen, I'll never forget this. You're my personal hero. Hey, don't you fret and don't you mention it, okay? Truly. And, and, and I mean that. Oh, did you say you're heading to find Douglas too? His office is that big building up on top of Dragtown. Uh, there's a zip line just past here that'll take you right to him. Huh. Well, all right then. I, I, I hope the guy gets his family back. Done, we finished this shit. We are fully out of luck. <sighs> okay, w w what is this? Congratulations to all the worms. It is now time for the final test a bloody free for all. Grassley standing gets the choice of G3. No rules, just killing. Good shit, heels. God damn it, another fucking thing with this. Holy shit. Good job, congratulations. Now, uh, I don't know, fight some more guys.
stretcher. Congratulations, graduates on joining the G3 or whatever. I really can't stress enough how little I give a shit. Now report to your commanding officer and we'll send you off to die fighting for us on whatever dumbass planet we decide. See ya. I didn't want to give you the old bait and switch, you know, but it's in my blood. I can't help it. Once a salesman, always a salesman. Feel free to keep looking, if you want. Don't feel bad. That was an okay price. Thanks for buying that at a normal, not-deal price. Pleasure doing business with you. Oh, it's you! Oh, you again! Am I glad to see you? I'm so happy we keep running into each other. Oh! Oh, look who it's her old buddy. It's her old friend, Dr. Jupy. What are you talking about? How, wh how's it going? Uh, there's another locked door. I'm running out of time. God, I'm so worried about my kids. And a little bit about my wife, but mostly my kids. Okay, well, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Oh, my poor kids. I hope Douglas doesn't kill them. I can feel my wife plenty calling for me. Hello again. Look who's back, baby. You're gonna solve this one, too. Thank you. Oh, Plimmy and the kids are probably so scared without me. I hope Douglas is not torturing them right now. I don't want to rush you, but I'm getting nervous.
Swoopy and Froopy would really like you to. Oh, they're good kids. I can't wait to introduce them to you and tell them about everything you did for me. They need good role models. How can I repay you? Should I tip you? Uh, how much do you tip for helping solve a puzzle? 15? 20? Do all the puzzle solvers pool their tips and then you guys split it up later at the end of the night? Or is there some kind of a puzzle solvers union? I know a little bit so I tip 10%. Douglas's office isn't too far from here. I'm going on ahead. I'll see you there. Hey, good luck, little guy. <laughs> okay? I really do. I, I like that guy. I in a perfect world, I'm hoping that Douglas doesn't just shoot him dead. Announcement. This sector has temporarily been designated as a mother's war and against violent zone. That means there's probably just going to be a lot of violence. An intruder has infiltrated the G3 recruitment program, and there will be lots of violence here until we find and kill them. And remember... Huh, I guess they're talking about us. Remember, I'm still here, and I support any and all mothers out there. I'll believe whatever cause they ask me to believe in. Shit, here we go! Faith in you, man. You ready, partner?
You know what? That's what they get for joining the G3. You know, I, I, I guess. I don't. I don't know. It's. I, I, I'm. I, I'm. I'm conflicted on it. It's rough. You've probably done a ton of bounty hunting before, right? Just kidding. I took one look at you and I was like, holy shit, this fucking character can barely tie their own shoelaces. Dr. Jupy, you're still alive. <gasps> oh, my best friends. This is it. Douglas is right beyond this door. Can you help me out one last time? Yeah, let's do this. Oh, huzzah. Plimmy, Sloopy, Sloopy, here I come. Maybe I'm tripping, but I could have sworn your second kid's name was Swoopy. Yeah, that's Swoopy and Swoopy, here I come! Here you go. Oh, you're so good at these. I wish I was as good at these as you. You're really good. Did you go to puzzle school? Oh boy, this is a hard one. Please hurry up, my family could be dying! to think about my wife's body being ripped in half by one of Douglas's torture devices. And it's not working, to be honest! I've decided that if my family is dead, I'm going to kill myself and join them in the afterlife. Don't talk me out of it! This is what love does to a person! Takes you a while. It's not right? Look who just stepped up in the place. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Okay, I know that early I said do feel bad if this puzzle takes you a while. Whoa! And it's not working, to be honest! Take you a while. It's not right. Okay, 
Okay, I know that earlier I said, hey, you know that this puzzle takes a while, but I also want you to remember, every second you take solving this is another second that might be torturing and killing my family! <laughs> You're halfway there! Keep going, you can do it! Oh, I can't wait to see my little flimmy, proppy, and droopy! Oh, okay, okay, see, that's it. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend no more. You slipped up again. You keep changing your kids' damn names! What, 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 what's happening? What's really happening? What's popping? What's cracking, baby? What? What are, you, what are you talking about? Are you fucking with us? Fucking with you? I, oh, oh, you're wrong. I would never do that. Look how vulnerable I am right now. If I was lying, would I make myself so vulnerable? Shoot his ass. Trust Wait. me. Wait. Hold on a second. Oh, oh I, I don't know. He's what... lying. He's fucking lying to our faces. Just do it. Shoot his ass. No, don't do it. Just solve the puzzle, please. For me. Just like old times. What the? Damn you, you idiots. How did you... Fuck. Gotta get to my suit. Yes, yeah, smart ass. We figured this shit out, too. We're smart, too. You're Douglas. Uh, yeah. Yep. No, I, I knew it all along, too. I I, I... I didn't fall. I didn't fall for anything. Fuck, we still need his dead corpse to turn in the bounty, you know? Okay, look, listen. We gotta solve the rest of the puzzle. Maybe. To, to you know, to get his corpse and, and, and a chunk of it. Done and done. Don't let that corpse get away. I can't hold on any longer. You're the ones who killed Corbis, aren't you? I can't believe you idiots figured me out. Entering chaos mode. Oh, we've been fighting a talking soup now! 
Some very nice choppable flesh, actually. It was actually very nice. Oh! Ha! All right, dipshit, let's go. What? No hello? Nice to meet you, or thank you for saving me? Why? Like you not dying there with some sort of favor to me? Hi, I'm Sweetie. Thanks so much for rescuing me. How is that, dipshit? Now come on, use my time bubble to escape through the big fan in the corner. Pretty cool, right? You're gonna find out real fast that I'm the best Gatlian, smartest, most useful, best looking. No, no, come on, come on, I'm pretty good. Douglas, it's Garmentuous. Where the fuck are you? I heard you made a complete fool of yourself at that party last night. Not good, Douglas. Not good. I'm gonna need you on top of your game now that we've got a hold of these humans. We're spread thin over on Earth, and I need more troops immediately. Not to mention things are gonna start heating up all over the galaxy as demand goes up. Big things are happening, Douglas. Get excited, and get your fucking shit together. Okay, yeah, fuck that. You wanna fuck these guys up? Crystal stick into baddies and they'll explode if you hit them real hard. Like with your knife. You get it. Go nuts. See what else this time bubble can do? Great! Perfect! Now hurry and cross before it wears off! 
Incredible, right? What a thrill. You know, you can use that time bubble on the G3 too. And try loading the bubble up with my crystal. You'll see why I'm the best Gatling. Ah, we're gonna make a good team. I can feel it. Just listen to everything I say and never use the other Gatling. What's next? You turn in the bounty somewhere? Go do that. We can wrap this up. Hey, kid. Another one's down, huh? Great work. <laughs> but, uh, hey, there's something you should see. Take a look after you turn in your bounty. Oh my god. Come on, turn in that bounty already. I gotta show you this. Let's just whack 70. We need an ambulance down here right away. Over here, Sheriff. We're not gonna boot. All right, good. Get over here. What is it? Check this out. Hello, Blim City citizens. That's Clug Nugman, Blim City Magistrate. As you all know, I'm working hard to flush out all the crime and drugs from our streets. I'll be the first to admit, we haven't made much headway in the fight against the G3 cartel. All right, all right. Now catch this next bit. All about to change. We've learned of a bold bounty hunter who's been bravely taking this G3 matter into their own hands. You hear that? He's talking about you! They've already dealt with two of the cartel's most powerful officers. Yeah, you got lucky. I am not too proud to ask for help in our war on drugs. Bounty Hunter, if you're listening, please consider joining forces with the good people of Glim City. I hope you'll choose to come forward and meet with me personally at my office in City Hall. Yeesh, desperate much? Can he even help us? I already told him you'd go. Oh, great. No, don't start. Trust me, he's legit. This guy's been anti-G3 since before any of you were even in diapers. Honestly, I don't know if Gatlin's even wear diapers. Head through there. Clug's expecting you. Sorry for making the call without you, but uh, Clug's a good man. I say we hear him out. Come on. You know how hard it is to get a meeting with the magistrate? Don't keep him waiting. <laughs> 